Hello everyone, this is Matt Hoots with Radiant Green and I was, I'm at the International Builder Show and I saw this really cool product. I saw a recycling sign, so obviously we had to talk to them because it's a green product and it looks like they're taking waste out of the waste stream and they work with large scale uh, recyclers to, to make this product and it, you can actually use this, it looks like in your landscaping. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking at the product down here. It looks cool, I'm not sure exactly what it does, but I've got Matthew over here, and he's gonna explain a little bit about how this works. So, uh, we're Playx Building Systems. We take difficult to recycle plastics, and we combine it with construction and demolition aggregates to make this unique composite right here. Now, this is extremely durable, 100% recycled, and outperforms traditional building materials across a variety of metrics. It's also very versatile, so it can be molded into a variety of form factors. So you said that's plastic, but it doesn't look like plastic. That's intentional, right? Yes, exactly. One of the things that stands out about our product is that it is familiar in both feel and look to builders. This has very, very similar properties to a concrete, and that is because we are taking large-scale aggregates out of the build sphere and incorporating them into this. So it makes it. sense that this is going to look a little bit like some of those, awesome. uh, those building aggregates. So let's talk about like how you source some of the materials. So you said you, you talk to large scale commercial recyclers to get the products. Yeah, so we work with, uh, really it's large scale um, organizations that work directly with these producers of waste plastic and waste aggregate. So in particular where we're from, on the east coast of Canada, we work with a lot of marine industries and a lot Got of it. agricultural industries in order to uh, source those large volumes that ensures a single stream is coming directly to our door. Half the time, when we're working with nonprofits, we don't charge them a penny for this process. They just have to get it to us. If you're working with a non or with a for-profit organization, it's a matter of determining their volume, how often they're going to be sending us waste, how contaminated their waste is, and then from there we can uh, work to cut the cost of tipping fees that they would normally have to experience at the dump between half and a third. Oh wow! So you guys will take this off their hands; they don't have to worry about that. But you don't want like individual consumers just sending like one Coke bottle at a time, right? No, exactly, because this is going to contribute a little bit towards that. Uh, that problem that we're yeah. trying to solve, right? If we're having people send materials in small scale, small volume, we're actually contributing a little bit more yeah. towards that GHG through the shipping and the logistics than what we can uh, take back out. So let's talk about the plastics. Is, is this like a polypropylene, poly, uh, polyethylene? Like what's, what's the composite? So we are uh, able to take a wide range, one, two, four, si uh, five, six, and seven. So oh, wow. that incorporates most of your polymers. We can't take PVC, and we can't take things that incorporate cellulose. And that is due to the fact that our uh, system uh, uh, puts heat towards these products in that order to sense. make that composite. All right, so I saw your pavers over here. Explain what, what's going on down here on the, on the floor. Yeah, for sure. So this is our flagship product right here. This is the link system. So there's four unique form factors within this single system. As you can see here, 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 and here. And it's a very simple system to build with. First, you start with this. This is your main post. This is either going to be the beginning or the end of your wall, depending on if it's a straight or it's an enclosed. From here, it's just a matter of clicking them together. Easy peasy. We can do 90 degrees, we can do 45 degrees, we can do a straight line. And then if you want added stability, you can drive rebar down in there with a wow. nut, put on the top. Or, if you want higher than four feet high, we can do a threaded rod system up through. From here, you have the nice caps as well. Put the caps on, and these can be adhered or left as is for easy access to the wall. So if you have that client that just kind of can't quite make up their mind, looks like this is a good product, you can give it to them. It's like, hey, if you don't like it, change it around every six months. It's a little exactly. bit different. Different color. So it looks like you've got, obviously these are very colorful down here, and I see the display here. It looks like you've got some gray, so you can... Do, do some products that mimic nature, but also add some color just for fun. Exactly. So as you can see here, this is the base color that our composite comes out of. This is a very neutral color within the within yeah. that build sphere, so it can take on a variety of dyes. Right here, we have what would be our brick equivalent, and this is achieved with red iron oxide, so still a natural dye. And this here blends in with kind of a black asphalt finish, and that's achieved through fly ash. So again, another natural dye that's incorporated. So these maintain that fully recycled or natural awesome. property. All right, and where can people find more about this product? Well, you can visit us at playx.ca for a variety of information and to get in contact with us. Okay, all right, appreciate it, thank you. Thank you so much.